The time has come, the Pittsburgh Steelers starters are in, and this is the official depth chart of who Mike Tomlin and the team sees as the starters, the backups, and so forth. For the Steelers week 1 matchup against the San Francisco 49ers, their depth chart has officially been announced. The last time the Steelers put out a depth chart, it was before their week 1 matchup in the preseason against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So some things have changed since then. People have gone traded, people have got released, and just people have earned the starting job over others. So this is everything that's different from the other depth chart that was released before the preseason games. Down the road, things could change on who's the starters and who's the backups when guys start playing more throughout the season and start earning a spot more on this team. But for now, heading into week one, this is what Mike Tomlin and the team have listed as the starters and the backups. We're going to start with the offense. Obviously, quarterback Kenny Pickett, he's a starter, and then Mitchell Trubisky, the backup, Mason Rudolph, the third string backup, but he will be active on game day because he is on the 53-man roster, and now you're allowed to have three quarterbacks active, even though they don't count as an active player. So all three will be active on game day. At running back position, the Steelers list Najee Harris as a starter, and then the backup is Jalen Warren, and the third string is Anthony McFarland Jr. That one was pretty obvious as well. Matt Canada said that Najee Harris is a clear starter for the team. Jalen Warren, he's a clear backup. And Anthony McFarland Jr., he makes the 53-man roster and ends up being the third string running back. Moving over to the fullback position. This one is actually kind of unique because the Steelers actually list Connor Hayward as a fullback on their team. Yes, in their last depth chart, they didn't list him as a fullback. They listed him as a tight end. So now, on their first depth chart ahead of week one, they actually list him as a fullback and a tight end. So, moving over to the tight end position. Zach Gentry is gone, and this is who the Steelers list as the starters and the backups at tight end. At tight end, they list Pat Frymuth as the first string, Darnell Washington as the second, and Connor Hayward as the third. If you remember... In last depth chart that was released for the Steelers ahead of the preseason game, Darnell Washington was listed as like the fourth tight end on the roster. But now since Zach Gentry is gone, Connor Hayward is also listed as a third tight end, not even ahead of Darnell Washington. And Darnell Washington is listed as a second tight end. So Darnell Washington has made a jump obviously from training camp and the preseason games and now officially gets a second string tight end spot on the depth chart. He's not listed as a fourth anymore behind Zach Gentry or Connor Hayward. He leaps both of them and is now listed as a second. So that's a good thing for the Steelers. And Connor Hayward, like I said, he's listed at both a tight end and a fullback for the Steelers roster. Moving over to the offensive line up front in the trenches. This one's obvious as well. The starters that have been all throughout the preseason, all through a training camp. The starter at left tackle, Dan Moore Jr., he beats out Broderick Jones, and he wins the starting job. It was pretty obvious that he was. Mike Tomlin said that he's taken another leap this season, and Broderick Jones didn't do nothing to lose the job. It's just that Dan Moore Jr. obviously has more experience, and he's taken another leap. So he's a starting left tackle. At left guard, you have Isaac Sayamalu. At center, you have Mason Cole. At right guard, you have James Daniels. Right tackle, you have Chooks Okorfor. So, that's obvious for the offensive line, but moving over to the backups, because the backups are a little bit surprising. The backup left tackle, obviously, this one's obvious, this is Broderick Jones, but left guard, the backup is Spencer Anderson. And at center, the backup is Nate Herbig. At right guard, the backup is Nate Herbig. And at right tackle, the backup is Dylan Cook. So the Steelers obviously decided to trade away Kevin Dotson, Kendrick Green, who would have been the backups at center and guard. But now, since both of them are gone, they kept Spencer Anderson on the roster. It's kind of weird because Spencer Anderson, he was taking snaps at center and he was listed as a backup center in the first depth chart that the Steelers released. But now he's not listed as a center at all, not even a third string. He's only listed as a left guard. And Nate Herbig, who was not listed as a center in the last depth chart released. He's actually listed as a backup center for the Steelers roster. I like that because that means that he's versatile. He can play both guard and center. And then Dylan Cook is strictly listed as a right tackle for the team. So that's the offensive line. 
Moving over to the wide receivers for the Pittsburgh Steelers, at wide receiver, they list three starters and then the backups to each of these guys. But these ones kind of waver a little bit because it's, no, it doesn't really depend on who the backup is to each position, to each player. It's just who the Steelers want to put on the field. But as the starters, Deontay Johnson, George Pickens, and Allen Robinson. And then it shows the backup to Deontay Johnson is Gunnar Oshevsky. The backup to Allen Robinson is Kelvin Austin. The backup to George Pickens is Miles Boykin. So you could kind of see what they're doing there. They're putting the backup to Deontay Johnson to another guy who's kind of a shiftier wide receiver in Gunnar Oshevsky. And then Allen Robinson, who they kind of have in the slot. They have Kelvin Austin as his backup. And then wide receiver George Pickens, who's a big body receiver as someone who's making contested catches. They have another tall receiver as in Miles Boykins as his backup. But this is obvious. This is who the Steelers wide receivers are that they list on their roster. And this is what they put out for the offense in the depth chart ahead of week one against the 49ers. Moving over to the defensive side of the ball. Let's start with the trenches and up front once again on the defense. We're going to start with the defensive line. At defensive tackle, they have Cameron Hayward as a starter, Isaiah Loudermilk as his backup, and Armand Watts as his backup. So those are one, two, and three for the Steelers at defensive tackle. And nose tackle, a little bit surprising. Montrevious Adams, senior. He's still a starter for the Steelers at nose tackle. Keanu Benton, he's the backup. Defensive end, we move over. We have Larry Ogunjobi and DeMarvin Leal as his backup. That's obvious. Larry Ogunjobi, Cameron Hayward, they're obviously going to be the starters. But it was kind of surprising seeing Montrevious Adams still be listed as a starter for the Steelers defense up front. So, those are the starters on the defensive line. Moving over to the outside linebackers off the edge. These ones are the most obvious ones as well. TJ Watt is a starter. And then Marcus Golden is his backup. And then Alex Highsmith, he's a starter. And Nick Herbig is his backup. So it's kind of interesting though to see on who they put at the backups to TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith. Because if they put the backup to TJ Watt, that means that Nick Herbig would be running off of the left side. But no, they put Marcus Golden running off the left side to back up TJ Watt. And then running off the right side to back up Alex Highsmith is Nick Herbig. But I'm sure they could switch it when the season. I'm sure Nick Herbig, Marcus Golden, whoever could run off of both sides and have snap rushes on each side of the defensive line off the edge. But they just list it this way on the depth chart because they have to list someone as a backup. And they don't really want to put... Nick Herbig or Marcus Golden as a backup at both positions and then both the other guys as a third string they just list one at each other so this is what the Steelers list as the outside linebackers off the edge moving over to the inside linebackers this one is kind of surprising as well a lot of the talk has been who's going to be the starter next to Cole Holcomb in the inside linebacker group but that's not the question anymore the answer has been revealed Cole Holcomb, Elena Roberts, those guys weren't officially listed as the starters. Cole Holcomb, who is officially listed as a starter, Elena Roberts, who is officially listed as a starter ahead of the week one preseason game, no longer it's like that. It actually says or. It says Cole Holcomb or Quan Alexander, and Elena Roberts or or Quan Alexander. So none of them are officially listed as starters. Yes, you can see that Cole Holcomb and Elena Roberts' name does come first, so maybe that's a little bit of an indicator that they're going to see the field first, but it does say or to each of those positions. So at the left inside linebacker and right inside linebacker, it's either or and Quan Alexander could be starting come game day if he does perform well. The one that is standstill is Mark Robinson. He's a backup, the third string backup at each of those positions. So the inside linebacker group, no one seems to have won the starting job just yet. And it says or, meaning that there could be multiple starters on any given day. So that's what it is for inside linebacker. Moving over to the free safety. Free safety, Mink Fitzpatrick, he's obviously the starter. And then listed as a backup free safety is DeMonte KZ. And the third string is Miles Killebrew. So you see DeMonte KZ, even though he's also listed as a strong safety, he's listed as Mika Fitzpatrick's backup. Because he is a safety who can roam the field and do a lot of things and get interceptions just like Mika Fitzpatrick, obviously not as good, but he still plays a similar role. Miles Killebrew, 
who's mostly known for special teams, he is a third string backup to these guys. Moving over to strong safety, because this is where we hit a position battle ahead of last week one preseason depth chart that was released. If we remember, it actually said DeMonte KZ or Keanu Neal as a starting strong safety. But now on this depth chart, it says Keanu Neal or DeMonte KZ. So they flip flopped whose name came first. Last one it said DeMonte KZ or Keanu Neal. Now it says Keanu Neal or DeMonte KZ. So maybe it's an indicator that Keanu Neal will get to see the first game action, but it's still they have not decided on who the starter is, but it looks like Keanu Neal will get his first game action based off the listing of the names being different from the last one. Moving over to left cornerback for the Steelers, Patrick Peterson, and then Joey Poor Jr. That means Joey Poor Jr. will be on the left side playing cornerback and not the right side. Moving over to the right cornerback, the Steelers list Levi Wallace as a starter, and then they also list James Pierre as his backup. And then Desmond King as the third stringer. So Desmond King, he is listed as an outside cornerback on the official depth chart. Moving over to the slot, Desmond King is not actually listed as a slot at all. You looking at the slot cornerbacks, it looks like Chan Sullivan will be the starter. He beat out Elijah Riley and has earned the starting nickel cornerback role for the Steelers, the slot cornerback option. Elijah Riley, however, is the backup to Chana Sullivan, but those are the starters and the backups at the cornerback positions. So, as you see, these are the Steelers starters on the defensive start side of the ball. Now, let's move over to the special teams. This one's obvious, it's kind of stayed the same all throughout. At punter, we have Presley Harvin, who beat out Brayden Mann. The Steelers officially kept two punters on the official roster, 53-man roster, but a day later, they cut Brayden Mann and kept Presley Harvin, meaning that he has earned the starting spot once again this offseason. And then at kicker, they have Chris Boswell. Obvious, he's been consistent. He's been on the team for a while, and until he officially loses the job, it'll be his. At the long snapper, we have Christian Kuntz. At kick returner, we have Anthony McFarland Jr., and the backup to him is Gunnar Orszewski. At punt returner, we have Kelvin Austin as a starting punt returner and Gunnar Oshevsky as a backup. Last season, Gunnar Oshevsky, he was listed as a starter at each of those positions, but now he's been overtaken by the fast and speedy guys in Anthony McFarland Jr. and Kelvin Austin, but he's still listed as the backup at each of those kick returner and punt returner spots as a specialist at that position when he was at the Patriots. But all in all, this is the Pittsburgh Steelers special team starters. And now, this is a wrap for the video. This is the official depth chart for the Steelers' offense, defense, and special teams ahead of the Week 1 matchup against the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday. So, obviously, throughout the season, like I said, things could change as people start earning a role and we actually see them in live game action. So, things could change with the depth chart and things could be changed on who the starters and the backups be. But as of right now, this is who Mike Tomlin and the Steelers list. So, with that being said, let me know down in the comments below. How do you feel this official depth chart that was released to the public on who the starters and the backups, the third stringers, are ahead of the season opener? Do you like how they're listed on the depth chart? Would you like to see someone else start, someone else be the backup, or do you believe that it's good and it's good enough for now? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below as well if you like Steers content analysis reports. Like the video, turn on post notifications down below for this channel so you can notify whenever I post the next Steelers video on this channel and you can notify it right away and you never miss out on Steelers news, rumors, highlights, reports, everything like that. I cover it all and I cover it all in one spot. So like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.